What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Stationeers and in the last episode we finally got the steel furnace hooked up and we smelted some steel there almost completely destroying the entire base with uh, with too much pressure but we've got our lovely- whoa what the heck happened to the terrain? What? Did this crater get filled in with- what the heck? I think the game has gotten an update and I'm pretty sure this crater got filled in with some weird floating terrain stuff going on. Regardless, today I'd like to do a few things uh, to the base here. I'd, first thing I'd like to do, obviously, is increase the power. Now that we have steel, we can add an extra solar panel and we can make a large battery and hopefully get more power on the roof. Um, hold on, we're gonna, yep. Yeah. We're gonna, no, turn the jetpack off because we're gonna need to save that. So I want to get more power on the roof, definitely an important thing to have. And then, of course, the second thing I want to do is actually try and uh, finish up these walls here and maybe put an airlock on it. And then I want to start producing some gas. I don't know, necessarily want to get to an airlock yet, but uh, we can take this assembly apart here, this fuel tank assembly, because we don't really have fuel for this furnace right now. And apparently we can hook up another furnace and simply just have the exhaust valve of the furnace going into one of these assemblies so we can fill up tanks by filling the furnace with gases. We'll put all the steel in here and we'll put some extra iron in there and we'll make some steel sheets. We don't need a lot, we just need three of them, so we'll just, uh, one. Perfect. Two. Excellent. And number three. Okay, we'll turn that off before we waste all the material. Alright, so there we go. So we've got a nice little base here. We can put an airlock in that room, no problem. That's all going to be sealed off nicely. Uh, we can actually put on a couple airlock doors now, even though we don't have that circuit board for the airlock. Airlock, there we go. So we can put these two guys on like this. Is that, are you serious? Does that interfere with the everything? I mean, I guess we can just have the circuits off to the side. You know what? Let's just do that. Okay, so we're just going to have to take apart this now, which is, of course, a pain in the butt. So we'll just do this, take apart this. Oh, nope, doesn't come across that way. Okay, just come out apart with a wrench. Nope. What about a crowbar? There we go, crowbar. Perfect. Let's put the wall here. Perfect. We'll save that room for airlock stuff. Put another airlock there. Perfect. And we can grab that steel sheet now. And put it back up and then we've got a completely sealed environment so we actually have a sealed environment here we could fill it with air eventually but we're gonna have to actually produce some air first so that'll be the first thing uh so in the meantime we're just gonna take our, our belt here and take the crowbar and we'll just uh, force open the airlocks there we go so now we can actually still go outside perfect so this is we're moving forward here we're going good into the future um definitely need some we need to build a second furnace now which we can sneak back in here and we need to disassemble this. Deconstruct the pipe. I I don't know if we need that valve or not. I'm going to assume we, we're just going to leave that valve. So we'll leave the valve off so that way in case the furnace... I don't think it would bleed back pressure through the fuel line. Because this is like the furnace has an input and an output. But I mean I really don't know to be honest. This game has a lot of very realistic things. So uh, we're just going to we're just gonna leave it there. So we got the pipe. Um, what else do we need? We need to grab this thing off the floor. I'm assuming it's just a grinder. Most most stuff on the floor is... Nope. Uh, crowbar, maybe? No. What about a drill? Drill. There we go. Okay. Perfect. So we'll have to use that later. Furnace. There we go. Which we should have more than enough for. Copper. We don't have enough copper. Are you serious? Do we have copper in here? Oh, we got tons of copper in here. Okay, perfect. Let's just eject all this stuff. Okay. Copper check oh yeah that's right this one takes a while all right so we're just gonna wait here and uh it's a good time it's nighttime so we'll uh, get back to you in the morning and see how things are going all right so the sun is coming back up we have our furnace kit here nicely done we have a perfect furnace so we'll grab that we'll just put it away and uh, we'll, we'll, no we'll grab that there we go we'll just put that away in storage for now uh if we have an empty slot here and what we're going to do actually really quickly is get the battery set up because we need a large battery on the roof so we can have power throughout the night. This small little battery... Oh, whoops, I took that battery out and put it in the tablet. That was a bad idea. All right, let's just take this out of the tablet. 
and we'll put it back in here. But this small little large battery that gets powered by the solar panel doesn't really last very long throughout the night, and that's kind of causing issues. So we need to definitely get a bigger battery set up, which I, I think means we need to have the battery kit right here. Okay, we got five grams of gold. That's not enough gold. Do we need, do we have more gold? We don't have any more gold. That's a problem. What do we have in the mining belt is the question. And do we have gold? Gold, what is this? Is this gold? This looks like gold to me. Perfect, 10 more gold. All right, so while that's smelting, let's go on an adventure and uh, see if we can find more gold, possibly some copper. That looks like iron over there. We can actually, you know what? We can actually just float right over there with our jetpack and just grab some stuff. Let's see what we got here. So let's just jetpack off. That's just, that's iron. So we got tons of iron. Don't really need any more of that. What is this? This is coal. Don't need coal either. Probably more coal. Yeah, don't definitely don't need any more coal. This is a very weird formation. I, I'm very interested as to why a game update would cause a shift in the map, but uh, regardless, it did. What's this? This is copper. Okay, so we're gonna need some more copper for sure. Battery said it took 20 copper, I believe, and we only have 22 copper, so I mean, we're basically gonna run out of copper as soon as we build a battery, so we we'll might as well just collect some more right here. All right, let's get out of here. We'll just uh, jetpack our way up. All right, we need more gold. That is the priority. That is a very deep pit down there. I don't, I don't want to fall in there. All right, gold, gold. Where are you, gold? Oh, there we go. That looks shiny. That's got to be gold, right? Shiny stuff. Perfect. Get some more gold. Okay, that's that's two gold. All right, 19 gold. This is that's good. We needed 20 for the furnace or for the battery pack. All right, so I think that's enough resources for now. We'll uh, we've got you know we've got some good gold there. We've got tools off, right? Yep. Okay, so we've got some gold. We've got uh, lots of copper, lots of iron. So we should be good to go. We'll just head on back to the base there, start up the arc furnace, and then hopefully get a battery kit installed on the roof. Now we are gonna need some heavy duty wiring as well because the battery apparently will overload circuits. Heavy duty wiring, where do we get the heavy duty wires? Heavy duty, battery cell large, battery cell small. No, we need the battery kit. Cable coil heavy, there we go. Okay, so let's build some of this. It also needs gold and copper, so that's kind of good that we're, we're getting some. How much are we actually gonna need is the question. So with one, two, three, four, five, probably like six. Because that does take a fair amount of gold. 0.5 gold per piece. Yeah. so so let's, I, I think, you know what, let's make eight and then that way we'll have enough just to make sure. Alrighty, and this gold looks like, uh, I don't, actually it's not, it's not done yet. As soon as this gold's finished smelting, we're gonna put some uh, copper in the furnace right away because we're gonna need definitely a lot of that. And then we're gonna take the gold, hopefully make the battery, the sun's already going down again because that's how this game goes. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to actually, you know what? We got to do other things too. There's so much to do right now and there's just not enough time of day. But we're going to need to put this here. We're going to need to take the tool belts and swap them real quick so we can actually take apart uh, this one section here, which we can do really quickly here. So we'll just take apart this panel. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. We'll just leave that there. And eventually we'll put that back, but in the meantime, yeah, no good. Is it completely deconstructed? Just two iron plates, right? Yeah, so we'll put the iron plates back on after, uh, but in the meantime, we need to be able to get up in here and cut out this wiring setup and make this all heavy wire. So we can do that pretty quickly right now with these pieces. Uh, the sun's gone already, so that's pretty much that. So we'll just turn on our light. What do we got? Gold here. Perfect. Always so many things to do in this game. I mean, I absolutely love it, but it is very much a, a forward thinking game. You have to, oh no, I want the wire cutters. We, you always have to be like ahead of, of everything that you want to do and make sure that you don't forget any steps along the way. And, uh, and yeah, you know, there we go. We're just dropping all these cables down. Doesn't even matter. Okay, good. And then we'll put the battery, I guess somewhere. We'll just, uh, we'll swap Jake over here. Critical. Jetpack critical, okay, no problem. We're gonna take the jetpack. And uh, where's my propellant there? Yeah, we'll take the jetpack. We'll just swap this. We'll grab the jetpack. We'll steal it off the oxygen supply again. We're slowly just using up the oxygen supply for pretty much everything else, but I'm hoping we're gonna get oxygen soon, so we should be okay. Let us grab these 
and let's rotate these pieces and we'll make a corner piece yeah that's good just like that excellent and uh and then we'll just go straight up i guess and we'll just come come out near the top there now we can uh, build that frame back together we're gonna actually turn this i think to the right so we can have the battery pack over to the right and uh and just have the solar panel goes into the battery pack we'll do like this and uh i don't really know how big the battery pack is so i'm assuming we can curve it off there maybe not sure but we'll just leave that for now and let's just drop back in here is the battery kit done oh no that's right we're waiting for copper copper's done perfect okay million things to do copper in here check create a battery kit turn this off so we don't waste power turn you off so we don't waste power i'm not sure if they actually use power when the thing's running i'm sure someone will will correct me in the comments down below but uh oh that was quick good thing we didn't have extra gold otherwise it would have made like 20 of them all right so we've got a battery now build stationary battery excellent so let's get up on the roof here all right so that's the output there okay so this is good we can turn this guy on and then all we need to do is go grab our small cables and run our solar panel over to the input way over on this side so we're actually just going to move our solar panel over to here and then we'll just we'll run it in so we need to go grab the cabling first so let's go do that we'll swap this out for the light cable go back up here all right let's get the solar panel i'm in love with this game guys absolutely in love with this game so much stuff to do and it's just it's so much fun to play all right solar panel check Glass panel on top, check. Solar panel is complete. And we'll just grab our wiring. And we'll wire it all up. So to do that, we're just gonna have a corner. And a couple straight pieces. Okay, so perfect. So now this battery should store charge from the solar panel. And then we should be able to use that charge throughout the day without having too many issues. And we'll just grab these metal plates here and we'll just uh, put them back on which i know this takes a welder for sure 100 percent. so we'll just grab the welder turn it on and there we go we are living in the future now we have a battery storage facility on the roof that will uh, hopefully give us more power and we'll start being able to hook up lights and all sorts of other things in this facility definitely going to need more solar panels too at some point in time probably a second solar panel at least Maybe do some solar panel auto tracking as well. But uh, hopefully this battery just starts getting some sunlight in the daytime. In the meantime, let's just hook up that other furnace because we need to do that as well. And then we'll uh, we'll see if we can get some oxygen when it's light out. So we got to get the furnace up hooked up quick. So it's in here. I guess it's kind of built into the glass a little bit maybe. Yeah, still kind of still kind of interesting. But okay, here we go. And then is that letting in... No, no, we already, we're open to the environment. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, I gotta be able to connect to the grid here. This is... For sure gotta work. Snap to the grid. Okay, which one's the exhaust? The exhaust is the top one, right? Yeah, top one's exhaust. So I need to put this nice and low. Like that. Problem solved. So it won't really work because we'll, we'll, the furnace chute will interfere with the pipe, but that won't matter. We should just be able to put stuff in here and uh and it should just bleed out the back there quite nicely and we should be able to put it into a tank there we go we'll put the tank connector there and then of course we'll just finish this up with some good old-fashioned pipe pieces like this and like this and then we just straighten it back out and i think this should be our gas hookup so if we take our you know what, I'm going to save before we take our only handy dandy oxygen supply. And we'll just we'll just save this as YouTube World 4, just in case. Because I feel like every time we hook up the oxygen supply, uh, we're in a bad state. Deconstruct this. We need a valve, uh, which I believe we make here. Pipe, pipe valve. What do we need for pipe valve? Iron and copper. Okay, I don't know why you need copper for a valve. You would think you'd just need like iron, but anyways. Alright, build pipe valve. Okay, excellent. And we'll just install this real quick. I do like how you can install stuff relatively easily, which is cool. Okay, so valve off. And hopefully now we can just wrench this guy on. 36, 
34, 35. Okay, it should it should just it should stop bleeding now. Can you can you stop bleeding? Oh my god, we're valves off. There we go. Okay, so it stopped bleeding. So that that is a lot of pressure that it took to fill that area. But anyways, um, we're gonna now go and get some oxygen stuff, put in this furnace, and see if it bleeds out to there. I mean, it should it should work, right? I would think. I I don't know. I'm hoping it does. Let's just put you know let's put this away because we don't need this. Let's go grab our suit. Let's put our other belt on our mining belt. Uh, let's put some of this iron ore. We'll just take the iron ore and put it in here. Just so we can get it out of the suit capacity. And we'll just turn on the arc furnace. And uh, yeah, we should be able to just equip our mining tool. Go find some of that auction stuff, which I believe there was some right outside the door here. And if all's done well, we should be good to go. Producing gas. I'm hoping this works because we really do need to increase that auction supply. Ice. Ice is good stuff. Okay, so that is 50, 100 ice. So let's head on back and uh, let's drill our way out here. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah, no, as soon as I put the ice in my hand, it starts melting. That would make sense. Let's get in. I need to build a ramp. I don't know if you can do that, but we're going to need to have a ramp there. All right, so let's let's put some ice in here. Yeah, let's turn the valve on. Uh oh, pressure's continuing to bleed down. That's not that's not good. Okay, more ice. Oh yeah, no, okay, now it's increasing the pressure. There we go. Perfect, perfect. So just it just needed more ice. That doesn't really get us to that high of a pressure though, does it? Twenty nine hundred KPA. We need a lot more ice. To get this back up to like 7,000. Alright. Perfect. So let's just go put all this ice now in our steel furnace setup. And then uh, hopefully get a little bit more pressure built up in that furnace. If there is a way to get air quicker, let me know. I know a lot of people, when I was looking up how people were doing this, uh, a lot of people just made a room and were just putting ores in the room to fill up like, you know, an air supply. But I think this way is much more efficient. And then of course we can hook these tanks into some sort of central air system. Uh, but let's just see how we can do here. So put in more ice there. And then we'll uh, grab this ice. Oh, there we go. Put in more ice there. 4,000, 5,000. See that? Now we're getting up to like really high pressures here. And now if I let the valve go into there, this should climb in pressure now too. Perfect. See, now we're really cooking. So now we've got lots of oxygen, which is great. We'll definitely have to get more ice in the future episodes. And uh, I, I guess this will just be our permanent oxygen furnace. And then I need another one for fuel as well, I would assume, to make a to have a volatiles smelting. We're definitely going to need to expand the base more. But let me know what you guys think about the series in the comments down below. And of course, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So we're definitely still going to need to expand the power grid more next episode. Get more solar panels. Maybe look at auto tracking and, uh, and definitely work at getting... Uh, a, a larger power grid. This is barely charging this one battery plus this battery, which is just enough right now for life support, but really not enough for anything else. But make sure you guys hit up that comment section down below and uh, let me know what you think of this series. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time.